hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome and welcome again um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like my content if you enjoy my video um, yeah so I've come on here again to bring you guys another interesting topic uh, the topic I'll be discussing today is around budgeting and some I'll be giving you guys essentially some tips uh, on how to budget effectively uh, so let's get started so to begin to understand what budgeting is we might as well give it a definition uh, the definition we're going to be discussing today is primarily what I have found to be the most effective understanding of what budgeting really is so from what do we mean when we talk about budget what we're essentially talking about when we talk about budgeting is the flow of the uh, the flow of money in and out of our household so you know the incomes that we earned and essentially the the uh, our everyday spending so you know again that would be what we bring in and what goes out on a on a daily basis why is budgeting really all that important especially as a recent graduate uh, budgeting really is very important for a recent graduate because one we are probably not very you know we're probably not bringing in any income and two uh, whatever little income we want to try and utilize this effect effectively to manage our day-to-day -day finances as discussed in the earlier uh, earlier frame so budgeting allows us to control our finances in a manner that you know we can meet our daily needs and exceed our expectation in the area of um, financing everything that we need to finance every month so one advice I would give any recent graduate is to start budgeting now because again when you begin to budget and develop the activities um, you develop the the mindset of budgeting it's a behavioral pattern that we want to try and adopt as early on as possible because it helps us later on when we're trying to make big purchases as um, as I'll be discussing early, uh, later on in, a, in another video so when we begin to budget we plan for a future of, uh, of success financially we plan for a future whereby we are able to meet our daily needs so budgeting really is very critical in taking control of our finances and managing it effectively you might be saying right now okay it's all good and well I want to start budgeting but I don't know where to start well the best place to start is first if you haven't had any experience with budgeting is first by tracking your expenses see what you are spending on a monthly basis on rent on utility on food and what you are actually also bringing in what where are your incomes coming in from do you have a stable income do you get a salary you know do you get a you know weekly income so by tracking that you can then able to effectively know and plan for um, for the month there are really two type of expenses that we make on a monthly basis there are the essential expense and the non essential expense uh, your non essential expense might be like you know Ulu you know cable TV those are really all that important uh, to you being able to sustain your uh, your daily living or being able to live effectively on a daily basis but your essential expenses are things like your rent utility uh, phone bills 
phone might even not be essential um, and other other major food other major expenses that you have to have in order to be able to sustain yourself those would be considered essential at the end of the month once you've figured out what your expenses are you want to break them down into different sections for example uh, you know one category might be housing another category might be transportation another category might be um, food another category might be uh, another category might be maintenance of house and cars you know those are all different categories that you might uh, you might have on a monthly basis once you've done this then you can see whether or not you're bringing in more income uh, that's able to cover all those expenses or and if you're not then that probably suggests to me that you probably need to cut back in some areas um, for example you know the most common area that most people tend to overspend on tends to be around you know food you know like or um, going out to eat you know not to say there's anything bad is there's nothing really bad about going out to eat if you can uh, comfortably afford to go out to eat but you know you have to think about it okay I'm spending let's say fifty dollars on a month on a daily basis to go out and eat at work what are the substitutions that I can make to help me effectively uh, begin to make the switch from constantly going out to eat on a daily basis to you know cooking my food not only is um, cooking your food more e healthier it saves you tons of money tons of money uh, you can be saving on a monthly basis by simply deciding and choosing to cook your food at home and then taking it to work so that's just one example of what you can decide on whether or not you really need to be doing it but if you're making enough money to be able to cover all your expenses and save at the end of the month well then you know maybe you might not need to cut in that area you know but as a recent graduate I probably you know I'd probably say you're probably not making that much. So now let's talk about saving. Saving is another one of those really important topic. I don't think we talk a lot about savings in our society today. Um, young people, especially in my generation, the millennia, we are not taught to save. We're taught to just, you know, buy and buy and consume. Uh, especially by TVs, uh, movies, and all sort of all sort of avenues on a daily basis, we are being bombarded with the idea that we need to constantly be spending. So you know, we have to begin to change our mindset and shift our thinking around this idea. Uh, and one of the ways that we can begin to do that is by talking about saving. Uh, Saving is one of the major areas that I feel really can transform a person's financial life. Uh, as a recent graduate, if you begin to save now, you will probably be in a very good position when you're, at the time you're about to uh, retire. And also, not only just for even retirement, um, let's say for example you want to buy a house when you are when you have a substantial amount of down payment uh, at hand you are more able to you're you're able to leverage that when you're di when you're discussing interest on your loans so you know definitely saving can be a very uh, critical aspect of financing
in addition to that, you know, you want to talk about, you want to think about, you know, when you first get your paycheck, you want to take the, you want to automatically set it up in a way whereby the money goes directly into your savings account and you are not even seeing it. So if you're not seeing it, then you can't really spend it. The money isn't really there. So in that sense, then you're able to, you know, kind of save without really the, having the mindset that you have the money. It's like you don't even have the money. You switch your mindset from thinking that, oh, yeah, I have this amount of money. But in reality, when you don't see it in your, in your uh, regular accounts on a monthly basis, then you, you've had the mindset that, you know, that money doesn't exist then you can budget based on other aspects of your finances to help avoid some of the downfalls that often befall people who are just starting out budgeting um, I'd suggest you have a few mindset shift um, at the beginning of budgeting you know you want to budget with the mindset that you know this might take a long time Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, again, don't forget to subscribe. If you like my content, don't forget to like this video. Um, and I always love hearing again from you guys down in the comments below. So don't forget to comment. Uh, I want to know what, when you started budgeting and what are the biggest strategies and tips that you have for somebody just starting out budgeting. If 